Azeroth Autopilot became a de facto leveling speed up add-on for World of Warcraft. And I'm going to give you very quick tips on how to use it in this video. Stick around. Hello everyone, Gyro here. Welcome back to the channel. In this little mini guide, and it is going to be very mini, stress is on mini, I'm going to tell you about Azeroth Autopilot add-on in terms of what you need to know. And there is very little you need to know. I'm going to tell you where to get it, I'm going to tell you how to install it, and I'm going to tell you how to configure it. And bonus, I'm going to tell you how to use it, but that is fairly automatic, which is where the word auto is from. So you get Azeroth Autopilot add-on from CurseForge. You go to World of Warcraft, uh, you go to Google, not, you don't go to World of Warcraft, you go to Google, you search for Azeroth Autopilot in Google, just Google normal what you would do. Yes, I don't need to show you that. And the very first link or the very couple of first links that are going to be shown to you by Google should be CurseForge, WOW add-ons, and Azeroth Autopilot page over there, which should bring you right here what I'm looking at right now. When you see this, you are simply going to download. If you are using a Twitch client that manages add-ons, then you can use the install button. It should make it much easier for you. I am a minimalist. I don't like any additional apps, any additional desktop things that are managing my add-ons and stuff that is a simply copy-paste installed into World of Warcraft folder, which is why I personally do not recommend you that you overload your system with extra things that are going to eventually try to sell you stuff. They will eventually try to promote a premium version that was going to update all of your add-ons at the same time, something like that. I don't like any of that stuff. I was using Curse Client years ago, was it years ago now? And in the end, I came to the conclusion that it's better for me to manually manage my add-ons. And this is how I recommend that you do it. You're simply going to press download button and you're going to download Azeroth Autopilot as a zip archive, which is just a normal archive. When you have downloaded Azeroth Autopilot, you're going to find the zip archive. You're going to click on it. It's going to open it like this. And you're going to see all the possible folders in there. What are you going to do then? You're going to take, you're going to open another folder, another browser, another file, uh, file system window, basically, folder view, and you're going to find where your interface of your World of Warcraft installation is. And this is going to be in wherever your World of Warcraft is installed, retail, interface, add-ons. All you're going to do is Take all these folders that are inside of your downloaded Azeroth Autopilot zip archive and you're going to simply drag and drop them into your interface add-ons folder. I'm not going to do it because they're already over here. As you can see, they're already installed. I don't need to do it again. Please note that when World of Warcraft runs, it, it uses some files. It locks them down so the files become, you cannot update them. I am not entirely sure if you need to be out of the game in order to update add-ons, in order to be able to freely drop new add-on files into the working World of Warcraft folder. So all you need to do is quit World of Warcraft, exit it fully, install the add-ons, start World of Warcraft, you'll be fine. I have a sneaky suspicion that you probably would be able to do it anyway, and then you can just simply refresh add-ons in the game from inside of the game i will show you in a second how to do that but this is just a kind of all-encompassing guide where you simply cannot fail this would be the easiest and the most bulletproof maybe not the easiest maybe most bulletproof version of installing the add-on this should conclude the installation of the add-on now we will go to configuration of the add-on When you are inside of the game and you log into the character, obviously you're looking right now at Cyberpunch who is level 56 and he started at level 20 when I rolled him not a few days ago. And as you can see, there are a few extra windows other than my uh, customizations of the interface with dominoes, um, uh, 
custom bar customization system. That's Domino's right now overlaying everywhere. Don't worry about this. You can see this window, this arrow, and this little window over here. That's all that's relevant to Azeroth Autopilot. This zone window that I'm dragging right now around, if you close it, I personally didn't find a way to reopen it. I suspect that there is one command that I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to execute it right now. My suspicion is that it will work for you and it will return Azeroth Autopilot to its pristine as it was very first moment in time when you installed it. State. It is you enter the command in chat, you press slash AAP, which is Azeroth Autopilot, reset. It definitely guaranteed resets the flow of quests. If something glitched out, if something didn't work, if you lost a quest, if you skipped a quest, I will show you how to do it in a second. If you did anything like that, reset is going to reset everything to the very beginning. It's going to start from the beginning of how Azeroth Autopilot thinks you should go about the zones. But my suspicion is that if you close this window, of all the zone quests, the list of quests that it plans for you. If you close it, I did not find a specific command or interface option in March 2020 version of the add-on that will allow you to reopen this additional help window. So maybe the reset command that I just gave you is going to also reopen this window. Why I'm stressing this so much is because when you are playing with this, be mindful that as long as this doesn't bother you, and if you prefer to have an idea of what's going to happen ahead, what's going to happen after step 146 in this zone, for me, in my case, right now, demonstrating to you, do not close this. Do not close this thing. Otherwise, you might not be able to reopen it. That's all I'm saying to you. That's a, just a little tip, a little pointer for you here. Main thing of Azeroth Autopilot add-on, obviously, though, is this point that tells you what to do next. That's it. And this arrow, that tells you where to go next, yes? And if I travel a little bit further away from this waypoint, as you can see, the arrow is turning, and as a normal waypoint arrow, it changes the color because it tells you, hey, mate, you're going the wrong direction. So that's all it is. But why I'm doing this is to stress and show you. I'll see if this, well, we are a little bit close, but as you can see, there are little green dots that are kind of that are kind of leading you to the point. It it even vi visually highlights the add-on highlights to you which way to go. It's quite handy in the areas when you are traveling through, especially if you're a noob, if you haven't been playing World of Warcraft for many years, if you don't know how to use a map or just can't be bothered to use a map. It tells you literally in a most mindless way which way to go. I am a veteran of World of Warcraft. I know this. I have a billion alts and stuff, and yet I'm still enjoying this add-on, which is why I'm sort of de facto promoting it to you if you want to save the time. But this is just a thing to be aware of. It tells you where to go. It's very cool. Like this. So Azeroth Autopilot, as I probably should have started with, but I think it goes without saying, it autopilots you through Azeroth. It simply picks the best path that they believe, the authors believe, that any new character should take through Azeroth so that they level up faster. It breaks immersion, it skips all the text of the quests, it does all the clicking inside of the dialogue windows for you. Basically, as soon as you open a dialogue window with a quest giver or when you're returning a quest, it kind of almost instantly disappears because Azeroth Autopilot did everything for you. So if you are into reading quests, if you are, if you think, oh, I want to level fast, but I still want to read quests and everything, well, then Azeroth Autopilot might not be for you, my friend. I will show you additional configuration options in a second, but this is something to understand. Azeroth Autopilot is for skipping of all that additional time. So you need to understand what you're buying in this particular case. So Azeroth Autopilot is going to help you. But it's going to take away a lot of that, those niceties that World of Warcraft is built around. It's certainly not for people who are leveling their first alt or their first character. Otherwise, you're going to lose quite a lot, really, put simply. So in action, as far as action is concerned, as you can see, it tells me to return the quest. Just turn in quest. So I go here to this, following these dots. It's pretty, it's pretty much in front of me, but let's pretend that I'm just following instructions on the minimap and what it tells me. 
and as soon as I click on this guy, I won't even see exactly what happened. It will just boom, 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 and close all the quests for me that I have to give to him. Boom! And I got my, and I got some things. Next step in the in the quest line, quest chain, obviously, is for me to interact with this guy who just got spawned somewhere. Uh, yeah, Broodlord Mandakir, obviously, from Zulgarab. And I'm picking up his quest. And again, I will not see what he has to say to me because Azeroth Autopilot is going to pick the quest for me very, very quickly and tell me what to do next. You with me? Boom runs off. I don't even know what just happened, right? But it was fast, and if we weren't talking, it would have been very, very fast. And as you can see on the minimap, these green dots already lead me somewhere else. And even on the big map, they are those green dots tell me which way to go to the next quest. It's pretty awesome like that. And that's in a nutshell what Azeroth Autopilot does for you. It's in a nutshell what, what you're doing with it. On this character, I kept the zone list of the quests open just to have, I don't know, it gives me a bit of a sense of perspective, even though it does create a bit of a visual clutter. But on my other alt, on my tank, on my Death Knight um, cyber tank, I have closed this, and that's why I'm saying to you I didn't find a way to reopen it. Now, configuration of the add-on, additional things for you to know. If you enter, if you, in chat, you say AAP, and that's it, no other command. It opens this configuration window, which is movable and it's not particularly advanced. It simply helps you position, I suppose, the add-on. And even if there are no quests, you still see the placeholders. Test quest number one, number two, number three. It allows you to select what op what do you want add-on to do. So if you would like to slow it down a little bit, but that's not the purpose of the add-on, is it? But in case you do... You can turn off accepting quests. You can turn off turning in quests. You can also speed it up. You can say auto pick quest reward. If there is a choice of a quest reward that the add-on doesn't want to do on your behalf, it will not auto pick the rewards unless you click this. I, for example, didn't click this. I want to still choose the reward. But to be honest with you, I probably should have because I'm all in heirlooms and I don't care exactly what it picks for me. It's all trash for me anyway. For you, it might not be. And the other kind of things. So it shows, obviously, the quest or the list. Oh, take a look. We just found a way how to reopen this thing. I spent like five minutes talking about the fact that I didn't find a way how to reopen the quest or the list. And now I feel a bit silly because we just found, discovered a way to do this. Well, that's a bonus for you, my friend, isn't it? And world quests are in, uh, included in that as well. So that's quest options. Fantastic. Now we can probably safely untick this. Yes. Arrow options. You can show arrow. I like the arrow. And there are some other general options. Add-on allows you to skip cutscenes. So any of those lengthy cutscenes and stuff that you would have had to press escape and then, okay, yes, I want to skip the cutscene. This thing can do it all for you automatically. And it saves a few seconds here and there. And those seconds add up to minutes. And that add, adds up to all the skip time in terms of leveling. It allows you to level faster. That's all this add-on does. And it could even repair you automatically. If you are in a, in a hub where you are interacting with someone who has a repair option, it could repair you automatically. It could auto-sell gray items. It's a pretty handy add-on that I really recommend to all people who are trying to speed up leveling during this period of time while Blizzard is still giving us this experience gain buff of 100%. You have time until mid towards late April 2020, depending on the time you're watching this video and depending what happens next. Maybe Blizzard will extend this grace period for us, hopefully. But basically, now is the time to level. Now is why I'm publishing this video, why I want to encourage you and help you. One last thing that I want to tell you that is kind of not obvious from these um, uh, options or anywhere else for that matter in terms of whatever comes with this add-on. There is a fairly handy command that I have macroed here, skip. Skip, it's, uh, so, so the tooltip says skip zone because when I was configuring it, I didn't know exactly what the command does. It doesn't skip zone guys, because I was researching and I was looking for how do I move on from Stranglethorn to another zone, for example. Short answer is you cannot. Add-on is going to take you through each step that it has pre-planned for you and I, thinking that it's the best path for us to level, and that's it. 
it is not going to let you skip the zone per se. Whenever you enter the right level range, for example, as soon as this guy Cyber Punch hits 60, I will get a notification because I already got one on the other character and it will take you to Stormwind and then it will take you to Northrend and then off you go. So it will take you through all expansions, all zones at its own will because it knows better. Essentially, it doesn't give you much of a choice. That's what you have to understand. But this command that I macroed here, and it's basically just AAP skip. I simply macroed it here. You can do the same, or you can just enter it if you need to. I wouldn't say that it's something that you would need to do very often. I don't think so. I didn't. But this command allows you to skip a quest or the next step in whatever, whatever that list of commands of... Um, uh, let me show you. There you go. Quest order list. So the skip command allows you to skip whatever that next thing is telling you to do. It could be an instruction to go to a waypoint. It could be an instruction to pick up quest. It could be an instruction to hand in quest. And in 90% of cases, that's exactly what the what Azeroth Autopilot is going to be offering you. So that command simply allows you to, okay, don't tell me about this, next. Don't tell me about this, next. That's it. I maybe used it once or twice, and macroing is, is uh, helping. Yeah, it does. Maybe there is a certain, certain phase of this progress where I remember vividly in Red Ridge Mountains, there are some elite quests that, need, that make you... You have to use some specific mechanics to go into stealth and distract some mobs and explode some towers. Maybe you don't want to do them because they are, spoiler alert, very tedious. Very tedious, okay? Even for a person in, in heirlooms. So this is when you could use that command. That's just for your information. So I, that's it, guys. That's all I had for you today. If this was helpful for you, if, it, if you like World of Warcraft content, if you are an alt friendly person who is leveling alts, would love a little growing community here and would love to show you support, please hit that like button and subscribe right now. I really appreciate it. And more videos are coming to you every couple of days on this channel. Thanks very much. And I'll talk to you very soon.